Sam, congratulations on signing up for another two years at Bristol Rovers. Yeah, thanks very much. Delighted to get it over the line. I think I signed it on, I signed it on the pitch actually before the Ipswich game. It was on a, a docu sign um, on an email, so I signed it on the pitch before the Ipswich game on Tuesday night. So uh, yeah, just delighted to get it over the line. Thanks very much to my agents and the gaffer for putting trust in me. And that 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 was the objective when I come down here to get promoted and and keep trying to push this this great club as 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 high as it can possibly go. And, Luckily, we've done that in the first the first year of, of, of having a go at it and, and hopefully many more to come. Rolls it to the edge of the area. The strike comes in and Sam Finley puts Bristol Rovers ahead. Just as you touched on there, your first year couldn't have really gone any better, could it? Have you got a standout moment from that year? We were talking about that last night, actually. Uh, went round to James Connolly's and Anthony Evans. They've just moved in in, in Clifton. Me and Jordan Roster went round. We were talking about the... The, the running that we had last year, the Rochdale game and Port Vale game and then the last game of the season, you can't not mention the last game of the season and then all the, all the partying that went that went on after it. But yeah, obviously live with Paul Cootie, he's had four or five promotions I think now and, and done numerous parties and done numerous promotions and that's my first proper promotion. Obviously I've had promotions in non-league but that's my first football league promotion so yeah, it was a special moment for me personally. And obviously signing up for two years means you're fully confident the club's heading in the right direction. Yeah, definitely. That was, as I said, that was the objective when I first come to the club, to get the club back into League One where it, where we think it belongs. And then the gaffer's been talking about obviously where he thinks he can take this club and, and the objectives he's got for the club and, and the aim he's got for the club. And, 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 and I fully agree with him with the with the backing of, of the great owner that we've got. I, I, I think this, this club can go to great places. And just finally, Sam, uh, any time that uh, Paul Coots has been unavailable to captain the side, you've been given the armband. Just tell us a little bit about what, what that means to you. Yeah, it's a great honour. It's a great honour, yeah. I think Glenn Whelan's done it a little bit last season. Uh, um, unbelievable role model again as well, as well as Paul Coots and got vast experience. And we've got quite a young squad, to be fair. So it's an honour that the gaffer's picked me to... To, to be vice captain type of thing at the club and it's an honour to captain this club when, when Paul's not available and I, I, I can't speak highly enough of when Paul is available and when he's the captain of the football club he's a great role model great leader and, and obviously I live with Paul so just taking little snippets of everything about his game and, and, and the way he lives his life and the experience he's had in the game he, he, he's a magnificent character in the football club yeah